I tend to like the thought experiment of the organism, like humans aren't the organisms. I like the notion of like uh, Richard Dawkins and memes that mm. ideas themselves are the organisms, like that are just using our minds to evolve. So like we're just like meat receptacles for ideas to breed and multiply and so on. And mm -hmm. and maybe those are the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Jordan Peterson has a line that says, you know, you think you have ideas, but ideas have you. Yeah. Right. Good line. Which, and and then we know about the phenomenon of groupthink, and there's so many things that constrain us. But I think you can examine all that and not be completely owned by the ideas and completely sucked into groupthink. Mm -hmm. And part of your responsibility as a as a human is to escape that kind of phenomena, which isn't, you know, it's you know, it's it's one of the creative tension things again. You're constructed by it but you can still observe it and you can think about it and you can make choices about, to some level, how constrained you are by it. And, you know, it's useful to do that. And, but but there, at the same time, and it could be by doing that, that you know, the, 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 the group in society you're, you're part of becomes collectively even more interesting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so the outside observer will think, wow, you know, all these Lexes running around with all these really independent ideas have created something even more interesting mm -hmm. in, in the aggregate. So, so I, so I don't know. I'm. Those are lenses to look at the situation but that give you some inspiration, but I don't think they're constraints, right? You know.